Um, it's a training center especially for helicopter training, helicopter missions, for firefighters, for mountain rescue of course, for police forces and also for water rescue. In 2003 there already exists a few types of simulation with helicopter rescue, but there was no possibility to train the whole scenery. It means that you have the dangerous half height, you have the stress moments, the feeling of flying. So it was the idea how can we move the helicopter with a crane. At the first it was a move, um, there was an idea with a movable crane and then we became the idea to put it in an industrial hall with a crane and with the helicopter with, with ropes to move the helicopter in the space. So if you have different helicopters you need a standardization to do a safety mission. So the basic of the training here was the standardization, to make first a standardization with all organizations who are running helicopters. And here is the possibility to do it step by step. You can train as long as you want. You can train very intensive, you can do it very slowly. And that's a very good base for the next step to do a real flight training. I'm responsible at AMST for these uh, rescue hoist trainer solutions. AMST is an engineering think tank, so in other words, it's a center of excellence dedicated to research, innovation, engineering, um, development and manufacturing of um, aircrew and aeromedical solutions. So for example, um, human training centrifuges, hyperbaric chambers, spatial disorientation trainers, flight simulators and rescue hoist trainers. So the, um, the role of AMST um, in, at this facility is that we are a partner with the Mountain Rescue Service and we are a supplier of the second cell, responsible for establishing further training centers around the world.